everybody, and welcome to Podcast 152. Today, we welcome Stacey Chalemi to the show. She is the author of the book, Natural Remedies for Common Conditions, How to Prevent, Heal, and Maintain Optimum Health Using Alternative Medicine, Herbals, Vitamins, and Food. She's also the author of over 20 other books, so she has just a wealth of information that she's come onto our podcast to share with us. We talk about everything from power herbs to power foods to detoxifying the body and how we can use things that are in our cabinet right now right now in order to promote optimal health and wellness. Thanks so much, Stacey, for being on our show. And I know everybody will enjoy this podcast because there's tons of great information. Beyond the Basics Health Academy, listen up and you will see how to stay or get healthy naturally. Optimize your life and learn in a fun way. Nutrition, health, hormones, not easily. No matter where you are, from anywhere on earth, no matter who you are, you certainly deserve. everybody and welcome to Beyond the Basics Health Academy podcast. I am Dr. Megan Kirschling and I am being joined today by Stacy Chalami. Hello Stacy, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing really well and I am so excited that you're here because you are going to talk to us about you just finished a book and there's a new book out that you've written. You've written over 20 books so this is not your first rodeo to the book world. So we'll talk a little bit about that. But you have such an extensive background, educating others and sharing with them the natural remedies to stay healthy, restore health and look and feel younger. So I'm really excited to get into the information that you have to share with our listeners. So why don't we start out with you telling us a little bit about yourself since there's so much information and your background. Okay, um, you know, I am the author of Complete Guide to Natural Healing. It's a natural approach to healing the body using different herbal supplements, vitamins, minerals, different vegetables, and different types of alternative medicine. My passion is helping others discover different ways to uh, heal the body and maintain excellent health. And um, I've de- dedicated my entire life to uh, help others using different natural remedies and techniques. My mission is really to educate others and to share with them different natural remedies so they can stay healthy, live long, and and feel their best, you know, and feel, you know, really reach their optimal health. That is fantastic. And I would like to talk about and just give some of the names of some of your other books just to show people how sort of all-inclusive you are. So you have a book called The Complete Herbal Guide, Natural Cures for Common Conditions, The Secret to Happiness and Success, Master the Power of Positive Thinking, Epilepsy, You're Not Alone, Epilepsy and Pregnancy, Live, Learn, and Be Happy with Epilepsy are just some of the many books that you've written. So I just think that it's important to sort of uh, state those titles to show what a wide range of information you have to share. So how did you get into teaching alternative medicine and herbal remedies? You know, I started uh, working with an herbalist and I developed epilepsy at the age of five years old. You know, I struggled with this illness all my life and, you know, I went from doctor to doctor for a while. It was in like, remission and I, was, I wasn't having seizures. But once I reached menstruation and ovulation and my body started changing, my seizures developed again. And, you know, really it was just going from doctor to doctor, one diagnosis at you know, after another one medication after another, you know, especially when I got into college and, you know, you know, the all night studying Mm -hmm. and the stress of getting good grades and, you know, all the, all the stress, you know, increased my level of seizures. And, you know, I just, I was like, how am I going to get through all this? And, you know, I was really feeling really stressed and, you know, I kind of didn't know what way to turn. And back then we really didn't have a lot of information about epilepsy. They might've been a couple of books on the market about epilepsy but they were written by doctors and these doctors kind of read, you know, wrote these books in medical terminology. So if you weren't a doctor, it really went over your head. You're like, what are these people talking about? Yeah. And, you know, so I really, I needed to find an answer and, you know, I, I really didn't know where to go to. So I went to the Epilepsy Foundation. I wrote a letter to them and, um, you know, they took that letter published it. And that letter uh, basically entailed, you know, I was, I wanted to know how other people with epilepsy actually you know, dealt with their disorder. How did, they, how do they go through life, you know, trying to reach their goals in life and trying to move forward in life, you know, with this, you know, this disorder. And, you know, surprisingly, I got 
hundreds of letters from all over the United States and Canada from people telling me, you know, about their disorder, about themselves, how they deal with it. And it was just so touching. And it was just like, you know, I then realized, you know what, I- I'm not you know, alone. I, you know, there are other people in this world going through the same thoughts, the same feelings, the same fears as me. And you know, uh, it was it was great. It was these people had such um, positive, you know, such a positive way of looking at things. They had such great in- information, and it really, you know, I actually, you know. I, I took a lot of their advice. I, I realized, you know, that I needed to, to do something. And uh, I started, you know, I started uh, taking their letters and I asked them if I could, you know, you know, write a book and publish their letters in the book so I could help others, you know, how like these people help me. And, you know, it took me about seven years to write the book. And, you know, after I finished college and I got married and, you know, my husband's like, you know, would you just finish that damn book? And I was like, <laughs> you know, I, I just uh, sat down and one day and I just started working on it again I finished it and it was amazing so many people contacted me and just thanked me you know for writing the book because you know people were you know looking for the same answers that you know from the same questions that I had and you know I uh you know, I just kept going along and, you know, I finished college. I got a, I got a job. I was working for a big uh, TV company, a network. And, uh, you know, I ended up, you know, having a seizure one time and, you know, it was in front of a producer and, you know, he saw me have the seizure and, you know, I lost my job from that. And, uh, really, yeah, it was just, you know, back then things were a lot different. And I was like, wow, you know, you know I wasn't going to let it stop me, though. I was just like, I just kept moving on and I kept doing other things. And I just, you know, went along and, and uh, I ended up actually the Epilepsy Foundation asked me to talk in front of Congress. And I, I spoke in front of Congress and we, we talked about job discrimination. We talked about, you know, epilepsy, uh, you know, and uh, I actually, you know, our governor at the time, he he went over me and he shook my hand. And he's like and he had tears in his eyes. He's 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 like, you know, you really touched me. You know, he goes, my sister has epilepsy and, you know, you really brought back a lot of memories. And, you know, life is hard when you have a disorder or a disease. And, you know, I started working with a herbalist and, uh, you know, he had such great, you know, information and I started applying a lot of the stuff that he taught me. And I, I started, uh, actually, you know, I, my seizures got better. I went from nine seizures to six seizures to four seizures. You know, I was still using the medications my doctor was giving me and I was still going to my doctor. But, you know, a lot of the lifestyle changes, a lot of the different uh, herbal remedies I was using, you know, how I, you know, I I just did a complete change in my life. And it really impacted my seizures to the point where I was seizure free. And it was just, you know, I at that point, I wanted to help others. You know, I had people Mm -hmm. writing to me saying, you know, you, you changed my life with, you know, with the book about epilepsy. And I realized at that point that, you know, words of wisdom can be very strong and they can help others. So I, I really had a passion. I wanted to help others like people have helped me. And, you know, that's where my turn in life went from, you know, from working in the big world and, and working, you know, in, in the entertainment industry to actually, you know, to actually look in to help others and really, you know, improve my life and use the, use the things I learned to help others and help them move forward in life as well. And it's been a great, it's really been a great road so far. And, you know, I want to do whatever I can to help other people like, you know, like they've helped me. Well, I think that your story is just going to resonate with so many people because I think that it's a story we hear a lot about people who are looking for answers. They can't find the right answers or the answers that they're getting maybe through traditional medicine are part of the problem or part of the solution, but they're looking for that big picture. And I think it's great that you've really created now this book and guide that looks more at the big picture and really helps people to find some of those answers that you found that you can give to others. I know a big part of the book is herbal and herbs and herbal remedy. Can we talk a little bit about herbs and herbal remedy and what exactly that is? 
Sure. Um, different herbals have been here um, for thousands of years. You know, Chinese medicine and, you know, even in India, you know, different spices and herbs have been, you know, very popular. And they've been even here, you know, they've been using different herbals and different plants as a source of medication, you know, to help different conditions, you know, and people don't even realize, but even a lot of the um, medications sometimes that we use today actually have herbal supplements mm -hmm. in them. You know, like uh, red yeast rice, for example, you know, it helps cholesterol. One of the things it does is help cholesterol. They're actually, they used to use red, they still do. Uh, red yeast rice, you used, to, you used to need it as a prescription, you know, and it used to help lower cholesterol. Now you can buy it over the counter. You know, natural, natural um, herbs come from different roots and different plants and, and just different, you know, natural resources. But people also have to realize that uh, some of these natural substances uh, work exactly like drugs. And, you know, so you always have to remember to be very careful, especially if you're using different medications for different conditions like high blood pressure or cholesterol or blood thinners. You know, those are just a few things. Even epilepsy, um, you have to like St. John Warts can actually cause a seizure with uh, certain medications and, and people who have epilepsy. So you really have to be careful. You know, I always, you know, suggest three things. I say don't assume it's safe because herbs aren't regulated by the FDA. You know, they're approved from the uh, USP, which is the United States Pharmaceutical, but it's not, you know, it's not always, you know, it, it, it may not be safe for everybody. So you really have to do your research. You may want to talk to your doctor, ask your doctor, you know, if this is safe with the medications you're taking, you know, and, you know, don't overdo it, you know, just because you can buy it over the counter and, you know, it's natural doesn't mean, you know, it could be dangerous too. You always have to follow the instructions. You have to make sure that you're, you know, you read the ingredients too. make sure, you know, because anybody can actually, you know, they can, you know, sell uh, a natural supplement. So you really have to look at the ingredients, make sure those ingredients are safe, make sure you're getting what they're saying they're giving you. And, you know, you have to really be your own doctor. And also you have to communicate with your actual doctor, you know, because, you know, in the long run, you know, their herbal supplements are great. I love them. I, they help many people, but you have to realize that you have to, you have to be smart about it as well. I really like your message that remember that they're powerful substances and to respect them so that it's not, don't do it blindly and then also do your due diligence to make sure that you're getting them from a great source, a good source, because when we talk about FDA regulation, that's what we have to make sure is that we know where those herbs are coming from. So I love that message and that education for people. There is also like a great website. It's called consumerlab.com and you can, you go on their website and they do um, really intensive research about all the different natural supplements, all the, all the ones that are on the market. They tell you what's the best ones to buy, what's not really ranked that great. You know, they give a lot of really good information and resources and, and different um, information, especially for people who may not know a lot about natural supplements, but they want to try them. You know, that's a great website as well to go to also. And I will put that in the podcast notes because I do think that's a great tidbit of information for our listeners. So thank you. And anybody looking for that website, it'll be in the show notes so that you can easily find it. Now, you also talk about power foods and power herbs um, and using these to help to heal. So let's talk a little bit about the foods and herbs and how people can use foods and things that might even be found in their refrigerator cabinets to help the healing and optimal health and wellness. Food is actually a really strong resource. People don't realize, and sometimes people, you know, run to the store and they buy an over-counter medication or they buy, you know, uh, different supplements and stuff. But they're actually, there's a lot of foods that are packed with so much different, you know, proteins and, and, and different uh, nutrients that actually can help conditions. You know, like for instance, blueberries. Blueberries are, you know, really strong antioxidants and, you know, they're great to lower uh, the risk of heart disease and cancer, as, and they also help with uh, an, as an anti-inflammatory. Uh, people who you know suffer from you know different types of bloating, they, you know uh, leaky gut syndrome. You know th these are these are foods that you should incorporate in, into your diet. You know even like you know sweet potatoes are full of vitamins and minerals, and you know they're also antioxidant, anti-inflammatory as well. There's uh, so many different foods. That 
that you know you can go to that actually can help you. Like tomatoes, um, they help lower cholesterol. They're great, you know, to help lower blood pressure. They could actually reduce the risk of stroke. They actually have a great source of vitamin C and other antioxidants, and they can help. Um, they can help fight off uh, cancer. And you know, they're, it's, they also have mentioned that they've done studies, and you know, um, it's helped even prostate ca uh, cancer. Um, you know, incorporating that into your own diet. Even potatoes, they're very uh, low calorie foods. You know, like we always, you know, in America, we tend to eat it the non healthy way. You know, we mm -hmm. have our French fries and, you know, yeah. our potato chips. But if you actually eat it and you bake it and you eat it in a healthy manner, they, they're actually very low calorie and they're very f high fiber foods that, you know, they're, they're great for, um, you know, cardiovascular disease and cancer as well. Even beets, they, they fight off. They're great for um, common colds, uh, and they say it even helps with cancer. And these are different, you know, different things that people, you know, don't realize. But there's so many different foods. Even broccoli controls. Uh, it can helps control blood pressure. It fights off depression. You know, it's great for you know to to maintain healthy bones and prevent cancer. It fights off uh, heart disease. It improves the immunity. So I can like go on and on. Like a lot of the, the healthy green foods that we have in our in our you know in other foods you know fruits and vegetables that we have in our our kitchen or we see every day when we go to the food store can actually help with all different types of different conditions it's amazing what different things even like uh, bananas bananas are full of potassium and they could actually help with depression if you have a good amount of you know potassium in your diet you know it helps level out your body and it help you with depression as well so you know uh, even a lot of the different herbs we have too can actually help as well and uh, there are a lot of foods too that can even detoxify your body from all the toxins that you know that we have every day the air we breathe you know the water that you know we use in the shower you know they, they're not the purest and you know we're you know we always are incorporating different toxins that we don't even realize um, some of these foods can actually detoxify our body and, and cleanse us from a lot of those toxins as well well, I think it's so important that we forget the power of food and we forget how it can really feed us or starve us if we're eating processed foods or, you know, like you said, if we're taking some of the more common choices for potato and tomatoes and eating French fries and ketchup, then a lot of times, you know, we're starving the body because we're not really getting those nutrients. But if we're eating real potatoes and real tomato, we then are feeding our body and helping with so many different processes. Can right. you... Briefly touch on some of your sort of power herbs, because I know you t talked about it, but I know you also love herbs and the healing power of herbs. So do you mind just touching briefly on some of your favorite herbs? Sure. Um, you know, uh, uh, garlic is excellent for uh, helping with uh, different digestive uh, problems. If a, if a person is suffering from, from diarrhea or they have, you know, it can fight also and help cancer. It's great for hardening of the arteries to prevent it. Different herbs like uh, dill is, is used to soothe the digestive tract and it even helps with uh, heartburn. You know, a lot of the medications that you see over the counter for heartburn can actually have some serious side effects in long term but the spices like like dill can actually you know help it and you know you just put it on your food you know turmeric is uh is, you know that originally uh came from india and it's a spice that you could actually just grind up and put in your food and you know it, it tastes really good i have a friend that uses it all the time and it, it, there's tons of things that it could help with it's you know it's good for your digestive it's good for, it's an anti-inflammatory it could help with many you know diseases you know, and disorders, and, and it's a, a really uh, healthy spice that you know that you could just easily you know put in your food, and it, it's great. Oregano contains uh, different compounds, and it can help with coughs or even people who you know sweat a lot, and they may have uh, body odor, and you know it gets embarrassing for some people. It can help for people tend to like cough a lot, you know, if they just get that dry throat all the time, you know, oregano can actually help with that. 
It's really good for the digestive tract as well. People who uh, suffer from, you know, gas and they get the gas pockets in their in their uh, digestive tract, and you know, they actually basil can help with that as well. Um, you know, they have, you know, rosemary is also another uh, herbal source that's a, you know, a, a really good antioxidant, and it, it's uh, it was uh, shown in many studies that it's it's helped prevent uh, cataracts and it's uh, it's helped to fight infections and even to help people who have asthma, if you use rosemary, it, it, they say it, it tends to ease the uh, asthma so it's not as severe and, uh, you know, it could actually help the airway con- constriction and, you know, help people with asthma with the symptoms that they suffer from as, lo- as well with it. So there's like so many different things. And, and even like sometimes when you're going through uh, your, your hormonal changes as a teenager, um, you tend to sometimes experience some breast pain when your body is changing. And they say rosemary can help ease the pain. Um, and, uh, it also helps with cysts as as well. And, uh, there's so many, you know, different things that so many of the herbs that we have in our kitchen can, can actually, you know, help, you know, they say thyme is very good. Uh, it increases the blood flow to the skin. It's, it helps with the, the healing process. Sometimes, um, you, some people have a hard time if they cut themselves and, you know, some people, they, they scab up and it feels like the, the, uh, cut is never going away. Um, you know, and some people heal right away, but they say thyme is, is very good, uh, for that, for the healing process. They, they heal quicker. You know, they say it, it's, uh, it's, it relaxes the uh, respiratory muscles and it helps even with people who suffer from bronchitis. So, you know, there's so many different things, you know, that we can find in our own kitchen. You know, you don't always have to run to the store or spend tons of money on all these, uh, you know, I'm, I, like I said, I love herbal supplements. I think they're great. But a lot of things, can, they, you make some lifestyle changes and you can find things that are in your own kitchen. And the power of food is amazing. People don't realize that you could actually, instead of running to the doctor for a prescription or spend so much money on all these different herbal supplements, you know, look in your kitchen first and maybe think about changing your, your, your eating habits because, you know, honestly, uh, the first thing you need to do is change your lifestyle, change the way you eat, change the way you sleep. These are huge things that actually play a big role in how you feel, how you look, weight loss, like Think about how how much the, the the weight loss industry is a billion dollar industry. It's like it's amazing how much people are constantly spending because they want to lose weight. Well, if you took the time to really focus on a plant source diet where you're focusing more on greens, you're focusing more on healthy foods. Our body wasn't, you know, really meant to eat a lot of these foods that they sell in the food market. You know, if you change your diet, you'd be surprised and even taking vitamins and incorporating some, you know, uh, some different things into your diet could actually help you lose weight. Because even when we get older, sometimes we, it's hard for us to lose weight. But, you know, um, by changing your diet and by incorporating incorporating a little exercise into your diet, you know, you can see some huge changes in your life. It's, uh, it's amazing what the power of food and the power of herbs and spices that you can grow in your backyard can do. Well, I know the other component of health that you really advocate because it's helped you and that sometimes it's the forgotten component is detoxification and the power of being able to detox. So can we talk a little bit about what are some of the methods that you recommend for someone to be able to detoxify their body? Sure. I'm a very big, you know, advocator for detoxifying the body. Um, Like I was saying earlier, it's amazing how much toxins we carry in our body. And, you know, we don't realize it. But a lot of the foods we eat, the air we breathe, you know, the water sometimes that we drink is not the purest. Even even the bottled water you drink, if you put it under a microscope and you had a scientist look at it, I I guarantee you there'll be some toxins in there because it's just, it's very hard to get all those toxins out. I think everyone should, you know, at, you know, detoxify their body uh, on an occasional basis um, because your body, your organs can't operate at, at 100% 
when there's so many toxins in the body. And over time, it builds up. Um, you know, I, I like to detoxify, and I noticed a huge difference when I started detoxifying. Even with my epilepsy, my seizures started declining tremendously when I started detoxifying my body. I started using um, whole body cleanses. I started using uh, colon cleanses. I started, um, you know, th things like fiber, inc incorporating fiber into your diet can help with, you know, with colon cleanses and cleanses in the body. Uh, milk thistle is a great herbal supplement that helps with the, the liver and it helps, it helps detoxify the body and helps with your digestive system. And those two alone are great ways you know, that can, can speed up the uh, detoxification process. You know, drinking a lot of water is also very good, you know, to flush out the toxins. And they also talk about, you know, there's different like foods also that you can incorporate into your diet that have fiber in it that could actually, you know, help with the to detoxification process, like beets, artichokes, cabbage, broccoli, seaweed are excellent detoxifying foods. Different herbal supplements like dandelion root and like I had mentioned, the milk thistle and green uh, drinking green tea helps a great deal. Uh, taking vitamin C, which can actually um, help the body. Uh, produce different components um, that will help your liver drive away the uh, toxins. Drinking a, at least two quarts of water a day um, can flush out the toxins tremendously. Also, you know, I, I believe in trying to, you know, when stress actually is like produces 90% of the illnesses that we suffer from today in our society. Now you say, well, we live in such a, uh, you know, a, a high strong world and there's so many stresses on everybody today, even the young kids. Well, there's different ways you can control your um, stress too. That could actually, I'm not going to say going to get rid of your stress, but yoga meditation are wonderful ways to actually um, decrease stress, um, you know, kind of help you with your focus. And actually, it can help with a lot of medical conditions as well. Even a hot shower, you know, allows the water to run through your, your body. That's a great way of detoxifying as well. Sometimes if you go to a gym, if you go in and you go into the sauna, the sweat in the, that you incorporate from the, from the hot sauna can help eliminate uh, waste through preparation. There's different ways of detoxifying. Exercising um, is a great way to detoxify your body as well. There's lots of different foods that you could e e eat to help you as well. And they do, you know, I do like taking, you know, certain colon cleanses and certain, uh, you know, whole body cleanses. And that kind of, you know, draws out the waste from your body, cleanse out the body, and it helps with, you know, the functions of the organs you know, work more appropriately. One of the things that I really just like about your work and your information and your books is that you really are promoting powerful remedies and powerful tools that a lot of us just have access to, you know, from either a local co-op or some of us even have in our house and don't realize how healing they can be. So I just think it's great how you incorporate these power foods and power herbs and power really information in order to achieve optimal health and wellness. How can people that are listening get linked up to you and find out more about your book, Natural Remedies for Common Conditions, How to Prevent, Heal, and Maintain Optimal Health Using Alternative Medicine, Herbals, Vitamins, and Food. How can people find out more about you? And then I'll put that all in the podcast show notes too so that people can easily get connected to you. We have a great website. It's called thecompleteherbalguide.com. And it ha we have over 4.6 million people come to our website. And it has a lot of the stuff that we discussed um, today on the website. We have all different types of conditions, different types of, uh, you know, questions about beauty and about detoxifying and different ways that you can get started on the website. If you want to learn more about me, I have a website called stacychilemi.com. You know, you can learn more about my books and more about me and, and different things that I do to help others. But the website, The Complete Herbal Guide, um, has a lot of great information. If you're looking to, you know, change some things in your lifestyle and you want to get back on track or you have a certain condition or a certain disease and you really want to try to, you know, you're, you're not happy where you are and, or you want to just try to improve things and do some tweaking, you know, we have a lot of great information. We have a lot of uh, doctors that come on the site and, you know, they have 
uh, expertise in these fields and you know they're big promoters of doing uh, natural uh, remedies and doing things to help promote good health and they have their own pages as well and they submit articles and they you know from their own uh, perspective and you know they show people a, a lot of different uh, remedies that they've used in their own practices to help their patients and those are on the website as well we have a lot of different uh, resources that you could go to on our website so you know if you have the time the complete herbal guide.com you know we have a lot of different books a lot of different things on there that could actually you know help people and uh, my book is on there as well and uh, my books are also on Barnes and Nobles and amazon.com and it's a great way to actually educate yourself and you know and it has all the information inside that can actually get you on the right track or you know help you you know with all the different natural ways to improve your life well and i know that you also are on pinterest twitter and facebook so i'll put those links too so people can follow you because i know you share good advice there too and then i highly recommend all of our listeners go to the complete herbal guide.com because there's just such great information and resources there for everybody and really to check that out because you have done an excellent job of being able to provide all that information for people Um, and there's a reason you get so many visitors each year because there is just great information on your site so I do recommend that everyone goes and checks out that website at the complete herbal guide.com Thank you, Stacey, so much for joining us. Just great, great information. You really did jam-pack a lot of information for our listeners, and I just really thank you for sharing all of that because you gave us a lot of information that we can start using right now. Thank you so much, and thank you very much for having me. I had a great time speaking with you, and I hope the information I provided will help somebody that's listening today. Oh, it definitely will. You just provided a lot of great information, and I really appreciate you sharing that with our listeners. And I remind everybody to be kind to others, take care of yourself, and make good choices. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks again, Stacey, for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Beyond the Basics Health Academy. Visit us at btbha.com. You will learn so many things on how to be happy. Share your knowledge with your friends and family. Tune in next time, listen to our podcast, send a message, ask a question, or review us on iTunes. See you next time.